Hi everybody, it's Diane. I'm doing a little experimenting today. It has been a very long time since I um, joined a swap on Junk Journal Junkies. So I decided that I should check it out and they do have a swap for sometime in April that um, is to be made with a, a journal to be made with a children's book cover. And I have a lot of little golden books so I thought I should join that swap. So I pulled out the Nurse Nancy that is really old. It's 1950 something, 56. And then the Mr. Noah one is even older. It's from the 1940s. And um, Thumbelina, which is 1981. Um, I don't know which one is going to be in the swap. So I'm going to put one in the swap and two will be in my shop. No reservations. <clears throat> I just want to put them in my shop. So they're in pretty rough shape, especially the two older ones. Um, and they're dirty, which I tried washing them, but the dirt just, you know, it's old dirt, so it's going to stay there. And they're, they're scribbling. So, and I'm not going to make these like any golden books that I usually make. I just want to play with um, a lot of the... Uh, um, eclectic mix of papers that I have and I'm not going to include the whole book in the signature or in the I'm not going to include the whole story in the journal I'm just playing I'm experimenting and for these I am covering them with um, gesso goodness I'll try to get my brain in gear now um, so I put gesso on them and then kind of wiped it off so it's transparent. You can still see the book cover. Um, I'm just going with the grungy look of these books and I'm going to do gesso, maybe some, maybe a little paint, maybe a little um, modeling paste, maybe. I don't even know if this might be all dried up. And some collage. So I did the gesso on this and I um, selected some elements for collage and then I thought I should turn the camera on. I didn't want to at first because I wasn't sure what I was doing, but hey, we're just going to play. So let's see what we come up with. So I have, I've had a lot of con little containers of all sorts um, that I've been shifting from place to place since I moved. And it is just bunches of book pages, magazine pages, ephemera pieces, all kinds of stuff that when I was getting ready to move. I'm going to coat this whole uh, the whole back of the book with Mod Podge. Um, like I was tearing apart the some of the Somerset, Somerset Studio magazines that I got from Jill because I didn't want to move the whole stack. So I think I went through most of them. I still have a few left and I was tearing pages out. And then I was just putting the pages into a box for me to sort later into what I wanted to do with them. Some of them would be for for collage. <clears throat> some of them were for Somerset inspiration. And other things. So I've been sorting stuff. And that's not all. It's just just a bunch of stuff that I just hadn't sorted and put away because I was busy preparing to move. This is a piece of old, old scrapbook paper. This is also, um, oh, it was a pad of paper that had um, letters on every page. It was a different letter in the, all different um, styles. Like here, I cut them apart. And they're so cool. And numbers too, and punctuation. So that's what this came from. Anyway, so I've been spending time this morning sorting. I have my dining room table, which is not big. It's just a little table. <clears throat> and my island. I opened up my the leaf on my kitchen island and pulled it over to the table so that I have more surface. And I've been sorting um, all those elements. And uh, they're still there. <laughs> I'm almost done sorting, but... Everything is still there, not put away. 
but I wanted to take a craft break. So I thought I should just start using some of the elements that are sorted onto my table. So that's what all of these are. Some of them were digis that I had printed and then cut out, but hadn't put away. That's what this little girl is. This is one of the labels that I just made with my new label stamp stamps, and this one is from uh, the vocabulary list from a children's primer. And this was not stamped with waterproof ink, so it did smear just a little bit, but it's hardly noticeable. Actually, I want to slip this under here. I wanted to put that on first. I've got my Mod Podge in this little cup. I've got Gesso in this little cup. So now I have this little paper doll I want to put on and her little dress. She has a date right on her, right at the bottom, 1967, by Unita Doll Company. Might be a little hard to get her to stick down. She's thicker. of her head wants to curl up. She's being a naughty girl. Put her dress on her. Maybe I should have just used glue for her. I'm gonna have fingerprints in this. down because it's wet. So I thought the back would be the best place to start because I don't need to preserve anything on the back. I did preserve the border because um, I like the old Golden Book border, so I thought it would be fun to have that showing. This I want to preserve some of the images on the front. I don't have to do the whole thing. Um, it does look better having the gesso on it. It kind of tones down the dirty look a little bit. There's some pen right there. So I don't know what I want to put on the front. Um, I can put that there, I like that.
Let's see what else I have over here. these little bits. Oh, you can't see them. Pieces from scrapbook paper, digital die cuts. things spoke to me. I don't want to go back out to the dining room to check out my ephemera some more. That's cute. I'm going to put a metal corner on. These corners are very soft. I think I want something along the bottom. some trim. I've got to use some up out of this little glove box. I had used some and then I started filling it up again. I know you can't see what I'm doing but I've got stuff here that I can't set this box down in. Oh, that's cute. Okay. So I think what I'll do here, since I have fabric and corrugated, I'm going to cover it with Mod Podge and let it dry, and then I will glue those pieces down. You guys, I have the most beautiful song going through my head. I watched Mamma Mia this week, and I love ABBA. My husband and I both loved ABBA. We had all of their albums. And now, I don't have all of the CDs. I have their greatest hit CDs, which were a couple of them, and a couple of the, you know, like the album, but in CD form but I don't have them all. So there's this one song that I had completely forgotten about. In fact, I didn't remember it. It was from the Voulez Vu album, and I know I had it, I remember. And I listened to those a lot, so I should have known, I should have remembered every song. But anyway, after I watched Mamma Mia, I yesterday I watched um, the second one. And it ends, the very last scene in the movie, is this gorgeous song called My Love, My Life. Oh, I had tears, tears rolling down my face watching that, but it is so beautiful. So I didn't remember it, and I thought, is it a new one written for this movie? So I looked it up on Amazon and to see if it was on one of their CDs, and it was. It's on Voulez-Vous. 
So, but I have almost all the other songs from Voulez Vous on the Greatest Hits CDs. I would buy the CD just for that song, but I'm, and I'm not, I don't usually buy MP3s. I mean, I don't buy MP3s because I'm not that techy, you know, but I think I might just buy the MP3 for that song and have it. I am going to, I brought all my CDs. I have a lot of CDs. I brought all of them with me. Um, but I t took them out of the cases and got rid of the cases, and they're all just in a in an album. It has the pockets for them, but I want to upload them to my computer and then put them on a, a USB stick or you know thumb drive, so I can listen to them in my car. My car doesn't have a CD player, but it has the the slot, the port for the thumb drive. So I have to do all that. It's going to take a while. But I figure if I have the MP3 for that song on my laptop, I can put that on a thumb drive too. But it's so beautiful. Look up. You can go to YouTube. Well, you're on to YouTube if you're watching this. Um, and I'm going to have this hanging off just a little bit. So just um, look up ABBA. My Love, My Life, and you'll see some video of Abba singing it. So beautiful. But have some tissues handy if you're emotional. I mean, the scene in the movie was had a different um, perspective than the song, which really made it a tearjerker. But even the song itself. Will make you cry. I didn't let it dry, did I? I'm just gluing it all on wet. Hope it sticks. I was so anxious to get it glued down. have my camera zoomed in a little bit so I may not be staying in frame because I'm not used to it being this restricted I guess So this is a label that I stamped onto a map page. Very colorful, and I like the colors with this book page, with this book cover. And this is a die cut that came with something. I already have pages cut for all of these journals that I'll be making. And since this is all scribbled, I'll cover that. I'll probably just put some scrapbook paper or something on there. And that too. But I'll do that after I have the book put together. Alrighty. Now, I didn't lay something on the floor that I could lay these down on. There. That was fun. Now I want to do the other covers. I was afraid to do it, but it was fun and I enjoyed it. So let's do another one. This one is Mr. Noah and his family and it's quite dirty. So I'm going to put Gesso on the back. I love the border on these old, old, old books though, but it will show through. And I will 
I'll take my baby wipe. And just wipe it off a little bit. Especially around the outside. This one, I've never seen this, Mr. Noah and his family, until I found this at a flea market. And I didn't read the story, but I looked at the pictures, and it looks like it's about a little girl, and her favorite toy is her Noah's Ark set. just so to be a little heavier around the edges. That edge is going to be covered anyway with fabric. the gesso dries, which won't take long. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and put the gesso on this cover too. And then I'll work on collaging. This one isn't in as bad shape. First I thought everybody's going to be using the golden books for the swap, so I wanted to use something different, but I do have so many of these, and I thought it would be fun to play around with this, doing something different with them. I'm just lightly brushing with this, I'm not pressing down on it. I had seen um, the second Mamma Mia movie before, and I probably loved that song when I heard it, but I had forgotten about it again. So I'm glad I watched it last night. I love the ABBA music, so watching those movies is just fun. It's kind of painful to hear Pierce Brosnan singing those songs, but... <laughs> I like Pierce Brosnan. He, it just sounds like it's such a strain for him to sing. It's not enjoyable to hear him sing. But I like him. Okay. It's getting dry. We can, I'm going to wash my hands. You can start selecting collage elements while I wait for it to dry. I don't want to put too much on the cover of this one. The cover is so unique and unusual and people aren't used to seeing it because it's, well, at least me, I've never seen it before. So I don't really want to cover it up, but I might just put a little fabric or something or trim on the edge. I do like this yellow stripe. Could wrap it around. There's another one of 
of these. looking for some fabric strips. Not seeing them. Hmm. I have my fabric strips that you know, we're intentional, but look at this old plaid. That is so cool, and the covers, colors are perfect. I had, um, you know, my scraps of fabric, my remnant pieces. I set, saved the ones that are cut more in strips into a little separate pile, but I don't see them right now. I'll have to search for them. But I really love this with the colors. It is perfect. So, I'm going to wrap that around like that, and then I'll add the yellow stripe and this. I don't really like the colors of that, though. I wonder if I have another one. I like, I like the um, color swatches on the selvages of the fabrics. And I always save them, but I don't know where they are. But I do have these pieces of um, bias tape that I sewed on. So let's just add a little snippet of that. I might be able to sew this on, but I don't know. I've never tried sewing through a golden book. Cover. I know people do, so maybe when this dries, I'll try sewing those pieces on. I really like those fabric pieces for that. So now let's turn our attention to the back. We're going to cover up that middle part. Neither of them were stamped with um, um, stays on, so they will smear. They were lined up too much there, the four and the eye. Uh, 
Okay. We're getting there. looking at my little pile that I brought over from what I've been sorting. And I have my little paper doll pieces here. Nothing too big. This looks like it came from Betsy McCall from McCall's. Yeah, that's cute. From the old McCall's catalogs. I remember them having Betsy McCall paper dolls. And I loved paper dolls. So whenever my mom got a, Betsy, uh, got a McCall's magazine, I wanted the paper dolls. So... Um, I think it needs something else right there. Something in an irregular shape. The only flower cutout I have <clears throat> that I brought in with me is too big. So I am going to get into my ephemera folder, my binder, and just look for a flower or something. This is what I'm getting into, my binder with all the images on it. I'm sorry I can't put it up there on the table. I think I like that one with the black and white. And I'm glad to have an opportunity to use the black and white ones. That's a Tim Holtz flower. Okay, we got quite a bit on here. So I'm going to start with the map, and then that, and that, and that. Okay, try to remember, take a photograph with my mind, this, before that. Oh boy, I took it all off, I won't remember it. <laughs> I'll we'll just try to make it look good. I'm not allowed to go to work right now, which I had opted out of anyway. I mean, I missed one day that I was supposed to work because my kids, especially my daughter, don't want me going out because I'm over 60. I'm 62. And so she didn't want me being exposed to the virus. Um, we do have a confirmed case. Now, I thought it was confirmed in my town, but I think the, the article was misleading. Some people say it didn't mean SARE because it was being reported from in the SARE paper. I don't know. So I don't know if it's actually a confirmed case in my town, but there's a confirmed case in the county. So anyway, um, I told my boss, she, we had the option. I mean, I work for Hallmark Cards. It's not, what do you call, necessary. So, but we were given the option to work if we wanted, but we didn't have to. So after my kids were really concerned, I decided it wasn't worth it, so I stayed home. I missed one day, and then after that, we got notice that we weren't supposed to go to work anymore till further notice. Well, till, yeah, till further notice. They're going to reevaluate April 8th, I think. So I'm not going to Walmart several times a week because that's where I do my Hallmark work. So, um,. They do have hours where people over 60 can go, like real early in the morning. 
but so I haven't done that I don't really need anything yet but I would like to get some things that were hard to find like eggs and toilet paper I mean I have enough for now but I think just because you can't ever find them it makes me nervous about when are they going to be available so anyway we have the pickup you can order online and schedule a pickup time and they do the shopping for you my daughter does that I've never done it because I'm usually there in the store working but she suggested that I try that so I did I placed an order and they didn't have milk they oh yeah yeah they did have milk I placed an order for milk um, they didn't have eggs and no toilet paper of course now that's not gonna look good where I had it I had it up here but I don't like it up there now because I think I put this label too far up or something. Oh, I ruined it. So anyway, I'm scheduled to go at one o'clock, between one and two to pick up my order. But I also get my boxes that I use to ship my journals in and I needed a couple more and I couldn't get them with the order. So, you know, I'm trying to stay out of the store so I had to go to the post office to mail mail my bills so I went in and to buy some boxes I figured they're gonna cost more than Walmart but you know at least I won't be going in Walmart it was like four dollars a box for just the little boxes that I used to ship my journals in ridiculous I bought bought a couple but I shouldn't have so my daughter texted me today and said that she hears that Walmart has eggs and toilet paper now. So I thought about going, but like I said, I do have enough. Let me try something else with the flowers. So maybe when I go to pick up my grocery order, <laughs> I'll end up going in just to see if they still have the toilet paper and the eggs, because they probably won't by then. But... I don't want to go do that and then go back again to get my order. I figure if they have them today, they will have them another day. Maybe things are starting to come back in stock now that they're limiting how many people can take. How many of each item. Guess I'll put that in there. And this is heavier, so I think I will wait and glue that when it's dry. All right, so there's that. We know what we're doing with the front cover of Mr. Noah. Let's take a look at Thumbelina. I think I'll give her a T for Thumbelina. Got some pretty blues and coral here. That's pretty.
I could cover up the whole thing on the back. Piece of fabric there. sheet a page of piece of ledger paper but that's in the other room I don't want to walk away from the camera I do that I do that sometimes and I don't like doing it that's an embossed piece Laces again. Um, all right, I got, got this. This is just an envelope that I stick um, pieces that I can use in collage. So I, instead of ledger paper, I can put this music sheet here. Let's just do that. We'll Mod Podge that right down. Let's get the background done. but <clears throat> I can trim it off if I want to. I dripped. And I've got some shorthand I can put over there. Seven Gypsies paper. Okay, now we have a background down. Just glue these elements on top of the background.
something to go right in there. Oh, how about a label? So I have all those labels that I made. So I guess I already have this all set, and I think that's probably all I'll put on here. Um, maybe a little something up there. dry so I guess I can glue them on now. We're at 48 minutes. I've been treating golden books like almost sacred. <laughs> like I have to keep them as original as I can and keep the page, the story intact and then I realized I don't have to do that I can play with them so that's what we're going to do there will be some of the pages from the stories within the book but not the entire story Is that gonna go? I want it hanging off a little bit. I guess it's gonna be even with that. see what I'm doing here. Um, I will be back. We're all, our hour's almost up anyway. I'll see you soon. Bye.